Hello and welcome to this video on PassiCell, a new filter module with an interesting backstory and circuit from new company Dweevor Tech. Before we get into it, let's check out what's to come. video is sponsored by Dweevor Tech. Now up front, I'll apologise for butchering the Welsh language here, but Passicel literally means low pass in the Welsh language. And Dweevor is a minor river in the north of Wales, and it's also the name of the surrounding area where the designer and his family are from and hold the earldom and peerage. Now minor Welsh lesson aside, this filter has an interesting backstory in its development and the circuitry used. I'm getting into a little story time with an interview over on my website and I've linked that down below. But before watching the video and reading that article, just to highlight a few of the interesting points. The filter design was inspired by an article that stated the Buchla 191 was a fairly ignorable filter design. And while they use the 191 as the core circuit idea here, they've added the diode ring design from the Korg MS50 which gave them the resonance path and a guitar pedal style soft clipping overdrive. Each filter pole in Passicel is actually a high shelf EQ and not typically a low pass, but with four of them in feedback loops around op amps, you're getting around minus 120 dB of high frequency roll off. So for all intents and purposes, this is a low pass filter. Now quickly running down the features, this is an 8HP module. We have an input with gain control and plenty of gain on tap. Main controls for filter frequency and filter resonance. We have two CV inputs that sum together to modulate the filter frequency. The bottom one will track volt per octave and the top one features an attenuator to scale that level of modulation. The output is inverted against the input, which is a deliberate design decision so that you can run this back through a VCA and create your own voltage controlled resonance paths. So let's hear some filter sweeps with this around unity gain with the mini pot just under half for input level. No resonance. But pushing the gain up, that's where we really start to lean into this filter topology and this, the character of the circuit. It's got a kind of thick woolly jumper vibe about it that's different from some other filter saturation stages I've heard before. Let's crank the input. big bulbous sound and I'm going to heavily lean into that leaning into the gain leaning into the character it will clean up as you've heard with a more unity style just under halfway input level but the fun for me in these three patches for this video is definitely leaning into the character the timing index is on screen if you'd like to skip through these patches but let's dive in so one of my favorite things with this filter is this gain stage it sounds like a kind of woolly fuzz pedal Kind of sounds like a filter into an overdrive or a fuzz. Pairing that with the ability to pitch track. So if I turn with the resonance there and even remove the input altogether, I have my pitch sequence coming in. That's making the filter track pitch. Dialing back the resonance, but setting a really strong resonant peak. You can hear it's static. The filter isn't moving, but the oscillator feeding it is. But adding the pitch tracking, you can get a tone that stays consistent across your pitch ranges. And then add some additional modulation, in this case, this envelope. And then really push that gain for a consistent, fuzzy, saturated tone. So we've 
managed to completely kind of nuke this drum beat. Heavily modulated, heavily driven. I pull these. There it is clean in terms of what's coming in. And again, nice smooth but still character fill filtering. Simply slamming that gain up full. Loads of distortion on tap. I've then got a couple of modulators. One is a noise signal that rises and falls back into the start of the beat. It's as if it's just mixing into the audio path as opposed to CV modulating the cutoff. modulation is an oscillator that's going through a VCA with an envelope just on beat one hitting that sound we can just inject that modulation on one step in the beat adding the noise back in and that resonance again rearing its head effects unrelated to the filtering got this big rich mix of waveforms with a saw wave, a sub and some noise, and plenty of modulation into the passy cell. Let's check out what's going on. So here's the oscillator sequenced, it's the UDCO here, straight into passy cell. You can hear we've got this sub and noise. cleaner filter sound you can add a lot of character to with the resonance adding this green trace here this envelope coming through the attenuator we get things moving and then this blue trace here this stepped random signal being attenuated here without the envelope you can hear that filter dancing around. And then finally, mixed in here, we have an audio rate signal from this oscillator. Giving all that crunchy, robotic kind of overtone. And the rest is all kind of just set dressing with some drums. Some reverb that's on this send here. Feeding from everything that's going on in the mix. And there's some side chain on a different channel, making the filter output pump. So with drums and effects. We've got a fun performative filter. So if you've got this far in the video, go drop a hard sync in the comments. I hope this kind of warm, woolly jumper and unique character that is Passicel has come across in the video. You can support my work on patreon.com forward slash divkid, joining the community, gaining access to exclusives and plenty more. Hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.